sample data uh, into Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2. Uh, there are a few steps we need to follow uh, during this operation. So uh, I'll just uh, put it right out here. First step is that you should download the database backups that uh, Microsoft has put it out there. There are two backup files. One is Microsoft Dynamics AX dot uh, BAK and other is Microsoft Dynamics AX underscore model dot BAK. Both of these uh, uh, files you need uh, during this operation uh, because uh, we do need these backup files to restore in order to have the sample data uh, Contoso sample data available for us. Now, uh, uh, pre as a precaution, uh, if you have done a lot of installation and everything is done on your uh, uh, AOS uh, instance, uh, please take the backups uh, just in case you have to roll back. Uh, some things won't work with the Contoso database. So the second step I would suggest is take the backup of uh, 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 three, all three databases, Microsoft uh, Dynamics AX, Microsoft Dynamics AX underscore model and baseline. So I, I, I don't know that what um, uh, names of the database that you have given, but uh, if you have given uh, uh, different names, then take the backups of all those. Because as a rollback, what you could do is restore those databases back and sync the data and your uh, AOS instance will be uh, running as uh, before the problem. The third thing that this is where the operation starts, uh, stop the Microsoft Dynamics AX AOS services um, and then go to Management Studio and restore both databases. Make sure when you restore the databases, uh, you keep the same name and just uh, um, click on uh, overwrite the existing database. Uh, that'll make life much more easier rather than you rename the databases later on. So uh, the fifth thing that is very important, uh, without that you will run into a lot of issues. You need to run this command that I have uh, put down here. We will, uh, in this demo, we'll run the command live. So you'll see that uh, if we run into any issue running this command, we'll resolve it right there. But uh, I don't expect that uh, we will run into this uh, uh, issue, but uh, we never know. So that's the fifth uh, um, step. The sixth step is that after you restore, after your restore is completed, you need to restart AOS. Now refresh, you know, check after every five minutes, uh, maybe, that um, once the AOS is restarted successfully, then you should proceed for the further operations. And then uh, after that, if you're going to uh, do some configuration for your partitions on your um, uh, client side, then you will configure those after that. But at this time, your sample data should be available for you uh, to use. Uh, so these are the steps that I wanted to mention before we start uh, our operation process I have already taken the backups of uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX and uh, the best thing actually to do really is to detach those two databases whatever uh, the databases after the backup that you have taken and restore these databases uh, so what I'm gonna do is as you can see that um, my database is uh, only the baseline is here uh, but um, the rest of the databases I have already detached so what I'm going to do is restore those databases as Microsoft Dynamics AX and uh, underscore model and then rename those databases to AX, PR, or D, DB uh, because that's um, what my um, AOS will recognize those databases. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click on the databases and restore, restore database. We're going to restore it from the device. So add and my backup files that I have downloaded in the first step is sitting right here. Um, Microsoft Dynamics AX.BAK. So click OK. OK. So we're going to select Microsoft Dynamics AX. So that's what we're going to do. And in option, we're going to go ahead and click on Overwrite, even though we do know that that database doesn't exist but we're gonna still follow this it uh, makes it a little less overhead for SQL Server to do the restore so click OK 
and this restore is gonna take a little bit of time so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, re uh, restore the other databases uh, other database Microsoft Dynamics AX underscore model and then we're we're gonna follow the steps right here that's written here so we're on step four so we're gonna do for both databases this step four and then we're gonna go uh, proceed further for uh, step five so Microsoft Dynamics AX is restored successfully there are a couple things that you could do really uh, when you restore it you can restore it just like this and then after that you can rename it or you can uh, during the restore you can restore as uh, whatever your database name is so this is what uh, I'm going to do is just follow the first step that uh, okay go ahead and restore whatever the name it gives you and then rename it so I'm gonna click OK and refresh the databases and uh, up here so I'm going to rename it AXPRODDB that that was my um, database name the first place so I'm going to go ahead and restore the other database uh, with the other option that I told you so restore database from the device so we're gonna go ahead and restore the underscore model database okay so we're gonna go ahead and click on model and destination up here it says underscore model so what we're gonna do is put it a x p r o d let me make sure that I'm putting it right a x p r o d d b so we're good with that we're gonna go option overwrite click OK and it'll restore it right quick successfully so we're gonna go ahead and close that and refresh the databases and see if our all databases are right here our next step let's look at it next step is step 5 and we're gonna run this command um, on the database side so we're gonna go ahead and copy that let's paste it we're gonna go ahead and run this command we're gonna select our database going to click on execute as you can see the five rows has been affected so we're good with that let's look at our next step <coughs> our next step is to uh, restart the AOS services and this might take long and if it takes long I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video is we're restarting our uh, AX services this is gonna time out and this is gonna that, that'll be okay but it's gonna take some time so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video there is a configuration needs to be done on client side in order to see that if our uh, uh, Contoso sample data is available for us so that would be step 7 we have finished step 6 so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna go to uh, Dynamics AX client configuration and up here um, if you go ahead and uh, do the original uh, installed configuration I've just uh, did another demo so that's why it's uh, it's my other um, configuration It's going to take a little bit of time to um, fire up the original uh, configuration, but what we need to do is actually click on Manage and save our original configuration like um, um, I did. I'll say that uh, save configuration file as uh, 
original underscore config underscore two so I'll just uh, save it as two so um, what we're gonna do is uh, click on manage and create configuration so uh, here uh, whatever the configuration that you wanted to do uh, uh, name um, that configuration right here so my contoso config that's what the configuration name I did and you just click OK and it'll load up here uh, once it's uh, loaded it'll appear just like this um, and uh, in partition uh, if you look at right here this is uh, this is the contoso uh, this is from Microsoft um, our up here they say is that uh, you know there are three partition created one is initial that we created uh, running our script um, and ex uh, extended test uh, data only and public sector so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and change uh, the configuration of our client uh, in order to log into each of uh, these three partition so I'm gonna go ahead and min minimize this so first I'm gonna go ahead and do is initial so I'm gonna hit apply click OK now go ahead and uh, right click on your um, a client and run as administrator and up here you will see uh, as you can see one dash DAT date and then initial so that means that our uh, uh, initial partition is successful and it's loaded we're gonna go ahead and close that and go back to the configuration of our um, client and we're going to do the second ext extended user data so we're gonna go ahead and apply okay and then we're gonna go ahead and right click and run as admin all right as you can see one DAT ext so that's loaded for us we're gonna go ahead and do the third test which would be final test of this demo we're gonna go ahead and uh, fire up again the Dynamics uh, client configuration and we're gonna do the public sector at this moment so hit apply OK right click on uh, the client run as admin and uh, you should see up here is public sector so this has appeared if you click on global address book you will see all the sample data as you can see April Stewart April Stewart and all those uh, uh, names that you would see in the sample data so that's it for installing Contoso uh, uh, sample data in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2 I hope this helps